Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. Nishanic Township.
Good morning, and today is Wednesday of Holy Week. Our Mass intentions for today are for Dr. Lawrence Fazioli, requested by Bob and Virginia McLaughlin, and Mary Lou Melder, requested by Robert Melder. And our opening song is Sacred, oh, Sacred Head Surrounded. Oh, sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn. Oh, bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn. The power of death come o'er you, the glow of life decays. Yet angel hosts adore you and tremble as they gaze. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. As we enter into this final day of Lent, let us turn to the Lord humbly asking his mercy and forgiveness. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your sons should submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will reprove my, who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. 
for the Lord hears the poor, and his own are in, bond, in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great mercy, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our heirs. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So a trivia question you may ask each other at home. When does Lent officially end? Well, actually, today is the eve of the ending of Lent, because tomorrow begins the sacred triduum of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. So today is the ending of the Lenten season, but the beginning then, tomorrow, of the sacred triduum, those three most holy days where we remember the Lord instituting the priesthood, the Holy Eucharist, his suffering and death on the cross, and the glory of his resurrection. So these are very sacred days that we are entering into. And under these odd circumstances, but I think today we could certainly learn a lot from Judas. Yes, Judas, who we can be so quick to condemn and say, how could you do such a thing? And at the same time, realize there may be a little Judas in all of us. Judas was so close to the Lord. He was chosen to be a disciple, not a betrayer. And he witnessed the Lord's multiplication of the loaves and the fish. He saw him raise Lazarus from the dead and Jairus' daughter. He saw these miracles. He heard his teaching. We often think sometimes that if we saw the Lord Jesus in his body, in his flesh, if we could hear his voice, we would believe so much more. But here we 
see the example of someone who was so close to the Lord and yet did not believe, did not understand, was willing to betray him. Look at this Sanhedrin, the religious officials of the day who found Jesus to be too powerful, evil, getting in the way, causing them problems. They rejected him to the point of wanting him dead. We claim to be his followers. And yet, have we ever betrayed him? Do we betray him by the attitude of our lives, by the things we say, by how we treat other people, by our selfishness? Do we truly believe and see him in the sacraments, in the Eucharist? How many Catholics walk away from the Eucharist? How many Catholics walk away from reconciliation, that great privilege we have to know that we are forgiven. These next few days are very sacred because of what God has done for us. But he looks to you and me to keep them sacred, even under these circumstances, to long for his presence, to desire to be one with him, to renew our faith in him, we have no excuses. Do we love him? Do we believe in him? Or do our actions and attitude betray him? What let Judas down? He was right there. Jesus washed his feet. His attitude his inner hardness of heart. That's the thing that creates a Judas in all of us. That hardness of heart, that refusal to trust God, that refusal to believe in him. We're going to take things into our own hands and we'll force God to do what we want. very dangerous thing and we can all succumb. May we pray at this very special time. I believe these are very sacred days as surreal as they may seem to draw close to the Lord to check our own attitudes and actions and feelings Am I rejecting God? Or even in the face of all this commotion, am I trusting in him even more? For the last thing in the world any of us would want to be is a Judas. And yet so oftentimes we can be. May it not be so for you and me this Easter. Turning to the Lord with faith and confidence, trusting in him and praying that he melt the hardness of our hearts, that we have the attitude of Christ, we place before him our cares and concerns. For Pope Francis, may God continue to fill his heart with love and his words with wisdom as he leads the church through change challenging times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For elected leaders, may the passion of Christ inspire them in making good choices 
For those they serve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live with painful illnesses, may they experience God's comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us here today, may we, with the help of God's grace, continue to grow in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the salvation earned for us by the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in a special way, during this Mass, for Lawrence Fazioli and Mary Lou Melder, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause for our special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us say our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, you told us where your treasure is, there your heart is also. The parish of the Holy Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, to build in your name. Guide, guide us by your spirit of wisdom. Give, give success to the work of our hands and give us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, martyrs and Mary, our mother, pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us say to ourselves, be with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that we ourselves in these gifts we offer be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ who saves us, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. And so with all the host of angels we adore you and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices rejoice with theirs in a chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaseless at work, so that the human race may become holy as you yourself are holy. Look with kindness on your people's offering and pour forth the power of your Holy Spirit upon them and upon these gifts that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we have all become your sons and daughters. For when we were lost and could not approach you because of our sins, you loved us with the greatest of love. Your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to a sentence of death. Yet before he stretched out his arms between heaven and earth in the eternal sign 
of your love for us. He wished to celebrate the Paschal Feast with his disciples. While they were at supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, knowing that he was to reconcile all things in himself through the blood of his cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine. Again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his second coming, we offer you, ever faithful and merciful Father, this sacrificial victim who reconciles the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you have chosen to unite with your Son in his saving banquet and graciously bestow upon us his very Spirit that takes away everything that ensnares us from you and one another. May you be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Help us to work together for the building up of your kingdom here on earth until at last we enter upon your kingdom in heaven in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, Saint Joseph, your apostles and martyrs, as well as all of our departed brothers and sisters whom we commend to your mercy. Then freed from every shadow of sin and death, we too will rejoice in the presence of Christ, our risen Lord. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we dare to pray in the words of our Savior, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
in the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Endow us, almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revealed mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow, down. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your faithful, o Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal Mysteries and to await with longing the gift to come, that, persevering in sacraments of rebirth, they may be led by these Lenten works to newness of life. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. In this your bitter passion, Good Shepherd, think of me. With your most sweet compassion, Unworthy though I be, Beneath your cross abiding, Forever would I rest In your dear love confiding And with your presence blessed Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle, and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.